Hey guys, Scott from tool-hunter.com and uh, just picked up a used Mark V and some accessories that uh, I was needing. Uh, some of these will wind up being sold, but uh, in the meantime, I thought I'd share with you some interesting tips I learned back in my days of working with ShopSmith that make it possible for one person to load one of these machines uh, into a vehicle without injuring themselves. Um, so whether you're moving or selling your equipment, uh, or have like like me have purchased one uh, you can do this ideally with two people but if you're on your own let me show you a little bit of the geometry that goes into play uh, first off I'm going to take this headstock and the carriage and I'm going to slide them off to the end that's furthest from the door and those are going to be the last things to go into the van now, I'm going to go ahead and record this and uh, I'll overdub what I do all right, so my first order of business here was to get some control over that power cord. It was in uh, disarray, so I'm going to wind that in a sort of a figure eight pattern uh, around the quill lock and then back over to the depth gauge. Now I'm trying to stretch the cord here, just you know, tight enough that it doesn't slip off. Tuck the end underneath. Make sure the bench lock is locked, and here I'm going to move the headstock over and the carriage and just gently lock those in place. I guess I didn't lock them, but I would suggest you do. Hey, there's another trick. Um, I actually swung it into position so I wasn't having to lift and pull the machine at the same time. So move the carriage and move the headstock up. They slide easily. Now this one needs a serious wax job done to it and I guess we'll cover that in a different video. So now all the weight is inside the van lifting with my knees and uh, adjusting it so that it's riding on the casters. It's now tucked in place and then you'll notice I'll reach around here and lock the casters in place. And it's that easy. Now the trick of sliding the headstock uh, in between positions is a matter of getting some leverage on the machine. Now right now the headstock's on the far end of the machine and I've got a uh, a luggage scale that I use to make sure that Delta doesn't charge me more for my bag than they should. And uh, just picking up the machine on this end with the headstock on the far end, this is telling me it's got about 45 pounds of force. Maybe it's 50. This looks like it needs to be calibrated. I'm going to move that headstock back and let's wait again. Man, those tubes need to be waxed. Well, let's try that again. I'll reset my dial here. And we're getting somewhere between 60, 65 pounds. And man, my, uh, my dial is completely out of whack now. I wonder if I can reset this thing. Nope, in fact, I've just broken it. <laughs> time to get a new scale what's interesting is this headstock on here is going to weigh somewhere between 60 and 75 pounds depending upon the vintage of the machine that you buy if it's a two-tone green headstock that's one of the first and they can be very heavy because the first year they were what is called sand cast um, they, they made a casting uh, mold pushed it into some sand and then filled it with uh, with molten aluminum and as a result the walls on that are very very thick and the machine is quite heavy over the years motors have gotten lighter at the same time more powerful and they've gone to a much higher uh, quality die casting of the machinery so the headstocks have gotten lighter while at the same time have gotten more powerful so the newer machines not so heavy you can uh, you can trust that you can lift those, but again, use this trick of sliding the headstock around and uh, that'll help to save your back. One other thing, if it has casters on the machine, you can utilize those to, uh, to help you roll it in, but be sure once you get it in place that you drop the unit down onto the floor, otherwise it'll be rolling around and, and tipping over to the back of your vehicle. Yeah, you can take the legs off of this machine if you're going into a minivan or even the back seat of a car. 
Uh, you've got five bolts that are holding the legs on on each end. Take those bolts off uh, while it's sitting on the ground. Ideally, you can put the tables on the machine and lock the tables down so that they are higher than the headstock. Flip the machine over onto those tables and then the legs are sticking straight up. You can take those five bolts out, flip it back over and load it back into your, your vehicle. I like to do all that. Uh, I like to take the, the tables off before putting it into a car or a van. Um, number one, they're just in the way, and number two, if you accidentally grab them or somebody is helping you and they don't know better and they grab the corner of a table, it can, it can flex or uh, one of the extension tables can slip. So I get those tables off before I try to load it into a vehicle. All right, so hopefully that helps you. Happy hunting as you look for tools for yourself and uh, more information coming.